Hi there, welcome to Mark's tour of Wanaka. Today we're in Wanaka, now we're at Justin's house. And we just, just went all the way from Wellington, across Ferry. Didn't really do much, just slipped all the way and went on the, on the east coast yesterday. Come down to Wanaka, beautiful day. Fucking wicked, this whole place. Sun's real hot. It's not really us. Much you can say I do, but uh, definitely say. Oh, yeah. Now today I'm going to Puzzle World. So it's going to be a good experience. I've never been there before, and uh, it should be wicked, wicked. the Warbirds over Wanaka Museum and it's pretty lame. I mean there is some good sort of stuff here. Yeah. Do you like Wanaka, Sarah? No. Why not? Because it's raining. And? It sucks. What are we doing? Don't what are we doing today though? I don't know. I think it is a good one. 6.5 inch machine gun. Grumpy chef. Um, uh, hunting uh, or cooking over that killing. side. Yeah. It's a fish filleting knife. And these are more hunting general purpose farming type style. Cool. What? Ooh, raw. Wouldn't it could be a different story? You yeah, know anybody with scaffold? I do. 
I just need it for a day to get up there and put a big shutter on it. And the fan in the ceiling. Oh, okay. Um, Even the painter scaffolded up, buddy. Get a ladder on top of it. How many lifts is it? Cherry pick it down. I don't know if I get a nice shot like that. We've got heaps of cars down here in Wanaka, heaps of hoons, V8s and V6s and rotaries, Angus, yeah. rotaries. Kings, Woods, Valiants, Jap Crappers, especially the real dumb Honda ones. Ow! Do a rocky mate! Got a whole lot of other cars. That one. Just mint. Right. Just really hotted it up. No, that, that's not that cool. Like, uh, so just hotted up eight. That's good though. This and they seem friendly enough. And all the fine women. There aren't actually that many. That many. But there's a lot of people out there, and they seem to be enjoying it. Yeah. What kind of band is this? Like a rock band or something? Yeah. yeah. Like, I haven't been to play before, so I don't even know. But, but like, in front of the bar here is getting fenced off all the way down to the water. And that's like the drinking area out oh. in front of the bar. Oh, yeah. That's scaffolding over there. It's a garden bar. Yep. So we're having that bar and this bar and this whole area. We're just like, like one little thing with the band just playing out here and stuff. Will you guys be playing like dance music oh. and stuff? Or just, just rock music? I think we'll be doing that out here. And this one's just... I'm not Is it still going? Yeah. All my memories gather round her. A miner's lady in a strange to blue water. We're about to run down a bank. Yeah, I just want to say hello to the, the camera and, Hi, and introduce everybody. yourself to the camera. Hi. Hi, Just write your name, Keely. That's Angus. Disgusting. And then over there is Justin. That's Keely. And that's the dog. Oh, that's Sarah. That's shit. Fuck <laughs> up. Standing behind me is the mighty Wanaka River. Sometimes it can get up to six feet deep and gushes all over the mainland. It sometimes wipes out farms, dairy cattle and sheep. It has been a plague for the Wanaka people since 1968. Barry White used to live here. Look at this stick. Angus's is poo stick. Here you go, look at my poo stick now. Can you see it? Yeah, no, it's just it. Oh, he's not going to get past the van. Oh, no, he's scared now. Oh, he's trying. It's just no wind. Like, Wellington's really windy, and this place is just really calm. Almost too calm. Walking up oh, careful. Mountain Iron today. It's yeah. called Mountain Iron Look because an iron. maybe there's a guy there who mounted an iron. Maybe there's an iron there that. Maybe it's shaped like an iron. Maybe it's made of iron. Maybe there's something else. Maybe 
Maybe it goes deeper. Maybe there's a special story behind this whole mountain. Have you ever thought of that? Maybe there's a some kind of dark and horrible mystery behind the whole Mount Iron. We're gonna find it. Why do you think it's called Mount Iron? Because it looks like an iron, and possibly it is made of iron minerals. What well, do you think? Underneath the soil. Do you think the earth. there's? Okay, but do you think there's this dark mystery behind Mount Iron? Not really. I think someone just. Every day I think that the mountain looks like an iron. Let's see what it's called, Mount Iron. Yeah. Yeah. Little prickles stuck in my foot. Very sore. Just showing you the views of uh, Wanaka. Look. Have you noticed all the poop? Hey Justin, did you know that Mount Iron's vegetation comprises of a mixture of native shrubs, small trees, herbs and grasses? And did you know that very little native vegetation of this sort was protected? What's that bro? Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Hey, Breast Peak. Why is it called Breast Peak? Maybe, maybe because it looks like a breast. At the moment, we're fishing for trout fish, but there aren't any trout fish here. I'm gonna have a couple of beers and chill out for a while and see if we can find any fish. But I don't think we're gonna find any fish. I mean, look at in the water over there. There's no fish. That's a big one though, you can't be small about it. Well, we had a lot of fun down at Wanaka. Although it rained for most of our action packed days, we still managed to get drunk. And getting drunk, running down the street in the middle of the night, was always a favourite. New Year's was a starry night sky, spent on the beach, the maduki duki. Pure white sand, beers, and a couple of speakers. Getting wasted. Wicked. Hey yo kids! What's up? Remember when I used to be dope? Yeah. I own a pocket full of fame. But look what you're doing now. I know. Well I know. I lost touch with reality. Now my personality is an unwanted commodity. We're on the west coast now. West coast of the South Island. And uh... This is the beach area. This is where the coast. This is the coast. It's the water, Tasman Sea. There, you can see all around. It's all coastline until that point up there, and all around here is is the mainland. And we're we've been on the mainland, and now we're on the coast. And all these guys behind me. Uh, there's lots of sandflies as well, lots of seagulls, and there's not many people, not many, not many people around. It's, just, it's pretty lame, um, but we're we're going to Greymouth. We're going to Greymouth today, so there's not really going to do anything else. We might go to the glaciers. We're going to go to the glaciers. Oh yeah, well, what actually happened at this beach here? I believe it's called um, Bruce Bay. Is this is where James Cook landed in um, 1876 and he got attacked by some Maoris coming came down from these hills up here actually and uh, they used to use this as a fishing spot and um, this great big war, unfortunately James Cook's boat was demolished but then after then he um, gave the Maoris tobacco and alcohol. They rebuilt him a boat which was very nice of them and he continued his journey. And, uh, it's actually called Bruce Bay after the cook on um, 
James Cox boat here, it's called Bruce. Um, yeah. Right, so we've been to the, we've just been to Lake Matheson, and it, nothing's happening. Like, uh, someone said it's meant to be like a mirror lake. Went to the mirror lake, and there was no mirror. Now we're standing on one of the tallest bridges in the whole of New Zealand. It's uh, approximately two meters high. Good day, mate. Yeah, how's it going? Don't talk to us, Whitey. See, there's some people that aren't friendly at all. That just don't say hello. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm not even recording, man. I don't care if you're recording or not. I don't like you pointing at me. I don't trust you. Get on, homo. Who would have thought? Grey mouth. Let's go across the bridge. <laughs> Look at what some cheeky bug has done. Look at what some cheeky. <laughs> Bullshit. That is a cock. Anyway, let's cross the bridge. Mark looks nice up against the fucking skylight. Give us a wave, Marky! Really beautiful, doesn't he? You look lovely with that fucking sun coming down behind you. That's what I said, like, looking like the TV like, before, like, the sun on the And ground. what the fuck is this moron doing? Well. Here we go, cut. Hey, There's me and Seagull. <laughs> and this is the swan that Mark couldn't see before. It migrates to God's land. So while you succeed in this life, I'd enjoy the fruits of my labor in the next life. Of course, life has to have its tragedies. Reality elimination is a has to be. So if that's the case, I greet it farewell each day, each time I sleep. I greet the ugly face of death with the frowning open arms. Comforted by voices from the other side, like Joan of Arc. So embark on this chosen path. Oh my god, it's like I'm forced to fail you. Conjure up thoughts way too heavy for a normal scale. Recite Bible verses when I battle my fallen angels. My spirit plays during an out of body experience. And best of cumulus clouds for I was born on the Death Stars, my birth was made mysterious Approaching fallen arrows Goodbye, Bye, Sarah. Bye, Angus. Bye, Mark. Bye, Sarah. Bye, Keely. Bye, Sarah. I said bye to her. <laughs>